Greetings, Minecrafters. Nonsanity here, and welcome to Da Vinci, a brand new server, and it's going to be using some lesser known mod packs. We're going to be trying them out. Aside from me, here we've got XB Crafted, Jotato, Zuljin, Drax, Biffa, Brink the Gamer, Lumber, Van Hal, and Willy Creeper. So let's get started. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Da Vinci. Aw, yeah. And so, yeah, we're here with some peoples. We see, where do we start? With the cool people or with the cool people? I'd start okay, with the, the cool, cool people. people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, Turn it down. Right, I, uh, I guess we'll start with me. I am XB. Uh, I am... Um, I love modded, I love Minecraft, and I am here to do things. Next. I am Zuljin, and if you look that way, there's a nipple on that mountain. Thank <laughs> 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 you, next, Wooly. He just I, points it out. That's <laughs> <laughs> not that subtle. I'm Wooly, uh, and <laughs> I'm here to play Minecraft with these people. Next. I'm, I'm Joe Tato, and uh, I'm waving. <laughs> <laughs> I make mods. That's what I do. I am Brink the Gamer. I I am a YouTuber, gamer, and uh, out of Primus. Hey, and I'm Drax, and, you know, I just figure I'd come after Wooly like this. Headbang. <laughs> 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 And I'm non sanity, and that's the last. All right, that's it. That's like nothing. That's Just everybody. Non sanity. That's it. Non sanity. <laughs> non sanity. <laughs> I'm not sane. All right. Uh, so the if you're not familiar with the pack, uh, the pack will be changing every month or two. It depends on how far we progress. I do not want to go over two months, just because you know. But that's can we explain really the purpose starts. of the pack? And that's nope. what I'm doing. Oh, jeez, guy. <laughs> let me let me do. Uh, fine, do, fine. Smack just, you with just some pork. Get, give me what I'm due. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so the pack will change at regular intervals. Um, and the whole point of the pack is just to explore new mods, <laughs> uh, get new mods in the. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I can't take you seriously with your mom <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's so bad. Oh, that mod needs to go. <laughs> that mod so needs to go. Oh. But that's why we're here. We're here to pick out the good mods from the bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the the whole point is to just get to know new mods, and this one I am not a fan of. What is that called? Emotes or something? It's yeah, called Tinker's emotes. Construct. Get rid of that crap. I like Tinkers. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you got your AOA. I got my Tinkers. Yes, I have my AOA. <laughs> uh, so if everybody wants to look at their item subsets real quick, we'll just scroll through the mods real quick. Uh, there's going to be a base set of mods that never change. Uh, those are the core mods. And then every other mod other than that will change. Well, ex I guess except for some. If there's some that people really, really like, anyway. then we'll keep them. But <laughs> Emotes. Emotes. Emotes, for sure. Emotes is gone. Everything that I've, Z asked for. I veto all your power to... <laughs> nighttime coming, let's move. <laughs> all right, oh, so I guess coming. we should uh, stop here, do some off-camera beginning garbage. I already did some of it while everybody else was screwing around with emotes. And yeah, we'll be back. I'm doing I'm, 30 I'm minutes back. of mining. I'm going caving. Peace. Oh, I'm going I'm this way off. as far away from you people as I'm possible. I'm going over here. <laughs> I'm heading for the nipple hills. What the? The oh, nipple hills? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go set up over on um, Pedo Bear Mountain. I'm going straight for the booby. <laughs> you touch the boob. Uh, I'm going for the farm one. Mount Pedo Bear. No, well, they're made uh, of like stone, base name. so I'm pretty sure they're all firm. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's almost getting nighttime already. Yes. Oh. 
I want a full moon so I can get moonstones. Bad stuff comes at night in this pack. I know, but that's 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 important. Although I have yet to see what it is. It warns you that <laughs> something bad is coming, but has anyone actually experienced it? Yeah, I there's have, different yes. types of mods that mobs that can spawn and you can get oh, different stuff from Pedo there. Bear Mountain. I'm so taken over this mountain. Pedo Bear Mountain? Yeah. Hello again. I have been off here on my own, doing a little bit of mining and just basic resource gathering. I had a tree in here. It's only been a, you know an hour or two since the last, and I've had some dinner and so forth. But uh, after I ran off and started getting started and just dug into a hole when night fell, and I've sort of been living here, everybody else has sort of collected back at the village, so I'm going to head back there. This was my big tunnel. This is the one machine that I made beyond a uh, a chest that... Uh, one of the better chests that smelts your items. And a grinder, grindstone. I made the MCI Craft Mole. And it dug this whole long hallway for me. Oh, this little bit of redstone I missed. And iron. I'll grab it. I can carry it with me. I've got all my stuff in three hardened strong boxes from uh, Thermal Expansion. Now, if you notice, I've got these extra spaces on here. This is from Advanced Inventory. You get this... Uh, I wasn't sure. I, I guess I should have taken that out. I'm not sure what happens to your stuff. I guess it stays there. That's good. doesn't get chucked on the floor. But you can uh, make upgrades and unlock these additional spaces just to carry around more with you. So I've got this mole here. Let me pull him out, stick him on the wall. Basically, you give him some coal, and optionally, you can give him wood, tracks, and torches. And it will just start digging a 3x3 three three tunnel, as you see here. By default, it goes... Uh, go, into the, oops, go into the options. By default, it goes 60 blocks, but you can set that to 120 or 240. And you can tell it to stop when it uh, fills up its inventory, or just keep going. It'll chuck things on the ground. I guess that's when you are more interested in the tunnel than in the drops. And you can either pass through lava or stop there. So it's a rather nice little miner, and it's not that expensive. If we bring up the recipe, you need the three diamonds, so you're going to have to do some mining yourself. But once you get that, the rest is just a little bit of iron, which, if you've got diamonds, you've got the iron. Some chests and a furnace. Very cheap relatively speaking, to other miners. Uh, and if you give it the torches and wood, it will make the archways like you see in regular Minecraft uh, tunnels, where you have the three wood along the top and the two fences. And it builds the, the planks and the fences for you, just out of the straight-up logs. Uh, it'll lay tracks down the middle, and it'll put torches onto the uh, front and back, or is it just the one side, maybe, of the uh, arches. But I like to just walk along with it and torch it up myself while I dig out the walls and let it do the uh, the bulk of the digging. Okay, we, currently, we've got... You notice I've got a uh, second hot bar. If I hit one, you know, one, two, three, four, you, uh, normal for selecting these items. But if you're on one and you hit it again, you get to the second item. So two, 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 two three, three. So you can get it all uh, a second row of stuff. But a uh, number of people don't really like it. It gets in the way because you can't turn off the scroll wheel functionality. So we're probably going to be taking that one out. I, I'm leaving some of this runium ore. That is from Essential Craft, a magic mod. I haven't done anything in it. I've collected quite a bit of this runium, so I'm leaving some of it behind for now. It seems pretty common. If I need more, I know where to find it. But not here, because if it's daytime, I think it is, I'm going to start heading back to where the others are. I've done my initial dig, dig, dig. And it's time to join the crowd. And yes, it's day, so let's get going here. Can I make this jump? Yeah. <laughs> So, show you around the uh, the world as we go. 
This place is using uh, enhanced biomes, which add some very nice, rather large uh, biomes that blend very well together. Un I mean, we, we, we've all used biomes aplenty, but uh, this one a little bit different, and I think, well, it's a little bit more bleak in general. I quite like it. And while I'm here, I might as well get some food here. This is a uh, limonite sword, or limonite, I'm not sure. It's uh, one of the materials from what used to be called Nevermind, and I think maybe it still is, or maybe it's changed its name, but that's what I know it as. Oh, I need some sheep. I'm going to get some... Uh... Whoa, I haven't made a bed yet. <laughs> like I said, we've just started. I got one of those power-ups for killing mobs, or skill upgrade. Normally I wouldn't kill all the sheep, but since I'm not going to live in this area anymore. Get one more. No, no, I'll get a couple more. <laughs> and not fall in a hole. Oh, come back here. All right, over the hills. Yeah, I went out across a desert. I think I'm going the right direction. <laughs> Let me check the map. Uh, yeah, they spawned there. I think they're near somewhere near that. So let's head back in that direction. So there's another desert. This one. Has saguaro cactuses only. Oh, uh, make my way down the wall here. There we go. And this red sand. Actually, I don't have any sand either. Grab a little bit as I go here. So I can make glass if I need it. Lots of different uh, ores. Well, it's from chisel, but the all are these all from chisel? No, enhanced biom biomes adds a bunch too. It's slightly annoying when mining because you keep running into another. Gotta go south. Keep getting so many, you know, just a couple of each of these, and you, your inventory is full. At the moment, I'm collecting everything, but. Uh, some point I'm just gonna have to start chucking all the unusual rocks that I don't need just so they don't get clogged up. That looks like something. That definitely looks like the right place. What's this? Miner. Yep, they've definitely settled here back at the <laughs> spawn area. A couple of them went to uh A Tune. We have that mod. A ton. There's the portal to it. It is a it is a dimension that is all desert and has desert themed uh, mobs and and uh, mummies and pharaohs and bandits. We've got strawberry fields forever, or at least for twenty blocks or so. Somebody's got a little starter place there. I don't know where everybody's located. I don't see them on the map. Do I have that? Uh, get my radar. I'm not liking this map. I'm going to change it, I think. Entities radar. Yeah, players are enabled. Don't see anybody. I could probably get on the uh, team speak again. See where they all are. <laughs> they're mine. Oh, they've been busy. But then they're working together. That's what I want to do. Oh, that's the chicken. I heard about the chicken. Tree farm. The hot tub that poisons you. <laughs> what else they got going here? Oh, here's where we started the game. <laughs> it's been a few hours for me, so it's grown. <laughs> All right, well, 
let me get find a spot to settle down here, figure out where everybody is, and I will be right back. All right, I've moved back into the spawn village area. Uh, everybody else is offline for the night, but uh, making myself a little space here, using the good old mole. I've set him to stop when full and stop at lava. There shouldn't be any lava. I, I'm working in a known area. But get him started here. And you can see he's doing a pretty good job. I've run him six times now to make this rather large room. Let's uh, run up here. Oh, it looks like it's raining. But no significant mobs around. I just made a little temporary shack. <laughs> putting it up the stairs. I had more stairs, so I built it out of stairs. It's all stairs. Cobble and stairs. Brink is on still. I'm not sure where he's holed up. I don't see him on my radar. I'll have to go out, get him on TeamSpeak, and uh, see what he's doing. Oop! I let, let it go a little too far. Let me go catch it. <laughs> I forgot about it. Run! Stop it before it goes out the back wall. Oh, look at that. I got here just in time. Perfect. Gonna take out this last bit. Oh. Looks like I have hit the back of the hill. <laughs> Let's get some dirt there. Ah, uh, and I'm full. Let's chuck some cobble out. We can't figure out what's what mod is causing the uh, excess picking up sounds. What? What? Oh. Oh. Crap. I got a hole in the ceiling here. That would explain <laughs> the sudden interloper. Alright, let's... I hope that wasn't somebody's base up there. <laughs> I see cobble. There's a lot of cobble up there. What is that? I don't know. I'll explore during the day. <laughs> yeah, you can hear that sound. Oh, bones. I do want bones. Got it? All right. Let's put some temporary lights up here, too. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was just because... It wasn't lit that I had a skeleton spawn behind me. But no, I hit the edge of the uh, there we go. I hit the edge of the hill. Then on the mini map, that's there's more hill there. I guess it just gets a little bit lower in that spot. I'll have to go on top and take a look. This will be a nice room for lots of machinery. <laughs> and I'm making it big enough that I can tile up the walls with a, a nicer looking material. So I'll go by and mine everything out, and then I'll get some chiseled blocks of some sort to uh, line the sides. So I'm going to cut off on this side, and I'm going to cut more on that side. That should give me plenty of space. And then I might go down. Should I go down anymore? I guess that's probably high enough ceilings. Maybe. Maybe I'll go down. I don't know. I'll decide as I dig it out and see how it looks. But yeah, there's lots of good mods in this pack that none of us have ever used before. I mean, as you can see up in the top right corner here, see it moving now. These are the skills for... Uh, I'm going to keep calling it for now. I'm going to keep calling it Nevermind. And you can see I'm up to level 5 in foraging, which you get from mining. And that gave me these, weak essence. So as soon as I get enough... What was it called? Uh, is this the right? No. Rose. Rosite. Yes, I need some more rosite ore. I think I only have one piece. Uh, I need a few more, and then I can make the roseite. Now maybe it's it's called a. Nope, I don't remember what it's called. 
certain block you can make, and then you sacrifice these weak essences to it, and that ups your orrery. Let's see, augury, this one. I, I know very little about the mod. I'm going to have to experiment. I know this one you get from mining, and this one you get from harvesting crops. Uh, I think this one you make from cooking ores, though it seems like it only works for furnaces. So once you get better processing machines, you're not going to get any more of this. That's a bit of a problem. But, uh, I don't know, maybe I can do something with that. I mean, right now I'm using uh, an adjustable chest, this one, one of the better chests, to do the um, smelting. So I toss in some aluminum ore, and it turns into aluminum ingot. And that doesn't count for the calefaction. <laughs> But some of these other ones, robbery, I'm not sure uh, how that works. I'll have to look it up. Ruin, ruination, doing runes probably. Infusion, probably some sort of magical process. Uh, creation, that one is another that you have to sacrifice stuff to a altar of some sort. Uh, hunter, there are specific mobs that will have that icon over their heads that you have to kill in order to progress in the Hunter. But you can't kill the higher-leveled ones until you've reached a higher level yourself. So there's some mobs out there you can't even harm. They can still attack you, and they do, with a fury. But you can't harm them until you're a better Hunter. So there's a lot to do there. And because this server is not supposed to be a long-haul server, we're going to get in there, experiment with the mods, and then hopefully in a few weeks we'll make a new set of mods with some whatever new creations people have made and uh, start playing with those. So we're going to be going around doing lots of fun things, seeing new stuff, experimenting, and I'm really looking forward to it. But I will bring you back for a little bit more in this episode once I've got my early game stuff set up. You've seen the uh, mole, but uh, I want to get a few more things set up, so I'll see you in a little bit. All right, my little hovel hole is finished, but I've decorated it a little bit. So let's go down and see it. Here we go. It's a nice big room. And yes, there is a roof. It's this uh, black cobble, or cobble black stone. I just chiseled regular cobblestone to get that. And various chiseled textures here and there. This is the granite, uh, andesite, marble, and then the rest on the sides is all cobblestone. I think it looks pretty good. Lots of room to expand. And that's the important thing. So, what are we going to do? Well, I've laid out some holes over here, and I think everything's in the right place. We will find out shortly. And while I was outside, I picked up a few things, so let me dispose of them. That's the wrong chest. This chest. All right. So, these are uh, storage drawers from the mod storage drawers. <laughs> sort of nice. You can put things in them, in them like a barrel. Uh, you can have four different things in this variety. There's many different varieties. It's a pretty nice mod as far as, you know, the look of it goes, the convenience. As you can see in the Wayla, it says Cobblestone 49, so it tells you when you look at it. When you, right, when you left click it, you get one, which is, and then if you crouch right click, you get the whole stack, which is different from your typical barrel, but it, I think it works better because that's the way you usually want. You usually want to put everything in with one click, that's the right click, and then, yeah, I just want three. Four, five, six. It's a lot easier to uh, access individual items. And with all the crafting tables here, once I get that all filled in, it'll be quite handy. I just haven't gotten around to doing that because I want to do this. I want to get my power going. To do that, I am going to be using the new mod for us, MCI Craft. We've got solar panels. We've got tidal generators, we've got the thermoelectric generator, 
and we have a nuclear reactor. I want them all. So we can see how well all of them do. So here is the solar panel. I've already crafted everything. But there's the recipe. It's very cheap. Sand, glass, cobble, one piece of redstone, solar panel. It just doesn't produce much power. So that's the trade-off. But it's good for starting. Here is the tidal generator. Cobble, iron, and then here is one of the power storage blocks from this mod. It uses it as a root for a number of uh, other recipes. And it itself is also very simple. Just cobble, iron, redstone. Sort of like a piston, except cobble instead of wood. And you get two of those. But they I think they even produce less power than the solar panel. I'm not sure about that. I haven't really measured these all yet, exactly. Then we have the thermoelectric generator. This one uses lava around it to generate power. It does need obsidian. And it uses the same power storage module in the middle and some more iron. So it's a little bit more advanced in that you need the obsidian. But there are ways to get that. But I've got diamond picks and stuff now, so that's not a problem. And the last part is the nuclear reactor. This is it here. Obsidian, glass, iron, redstone. <laughs> that's it for a nuclear reactor. Little cheap, perhaps, but it doesn't produce a ton of power. It's not like the industrial craft to a uh, nuclear reactor, which is very expensive, very complicated, very dangerous, and it, pr it produces a lot of power. This doesn't produce nearly as much power. But it is actually a heavy water reactor, so it's going to need heavy water. So that's what you need this part for. This is the water to heavy water converter. Gold, iron, redstone, glass. Simple. Again, all these recipes are very simple. And that, of course, is going to need water, and there's plenty of ways to pump water, but I'll stick with this mod for the time being and use their water pump, which is wood, one of these power storage modules, and then a liquid pipe. This is probably actually the hardest thing to make out of all of this because it needs two cactus. So you have to have a desert nearby. We've got lots of deserts nearby, but none of these have cactuses. <laughs> I think the only one I found that has cactuses is this one way up here. But thankfully, we had that one cactus we all uh, grouped around here in Spawn when we started. And it, it has grown, so I went out and got the two pieces of cactus I need from that. By now, it's probably grown back. So let's grab those three. Now, as you can see in, in the thing, this liquid pipe, I'm not actually going to use those as the pipes I'm using. Uh, they have the one drawback is that they can only go one-to-one. -one. They can't split. And my design, I, I need to uh, split. Oh, and uh, the last one over here. These are all thermal expansion stuff, or ther thermal expansion and thermal dynamics for the ducts. I've got a hardened energy cell, hardened flux duct to pass power. This is stores it. A uh, fluid duct, and two servos. So I will be needing all of these. And in fact, I will be putting down this very f as the first thing, right here. Now I've already dug a hole up to the surface and put a piece of glass there. So this is where the solar panel is just going to go straight on top. And, yep, you can see it's generating some power. I've already generated a little bit of power with this. I was testing some of these before. You see it's getting a little tiny trickle of power, not that much. I mean, these are cheap machines, so they're not going to generate too much. Now, the tidal generators have to be placed like this. Let's see, there's the fan there turbine, with water on each side of them. I have had a little bit of oddness with them caring about which direction they're in, but this seems to be the right direction for them right now. Oh, not the fluid duct. I need the energy duct. So there, connects those up. Power is going up a little bit faster. Not a huge amount. In fact, if I break this one, where did my wrench go? There it is. 
Now, if I look at this, the Wela, you can see it's just like one every other tick or one every other second. So it's one, one thousand, two, one, oh, maybe it's four. So maybe one RF every five ticks. Very, very slow. But, you know, things start adding up. Um, let's do the thermal one now. So I'm going to need a bucket. Uh, I have water in my buckets, but that's okay. I can empty that out. I went out and I made a uh, hardened portable tank and went to a surface lake of lava and sucked some up. So let's put that there and stick... I, I don't know if the one on the bottom is necessary or if it does any good. So if I put the flux duct... No, no, look, it's generating power. And that's generating power much faster than the other one. So this is better. It does mean having some obsidian and messing about with lava. But this is definitely better than the others. We can tell that already. So let's get even more lava around it, and it should go even faster. How's it doing? That looks a little bit faster. I can't quite tell. Yeah, that looks faster. And now the last thing is, let's, let's actually, just so I don't fall in, I don't want to fall into the lava. Let's uh, put some covers down here. Glass covers I made up. Like that. That one's going to have a piece of pipe over it, so I don't have to worry about it right now. In fact, let's go ahead and put the pipe over it. That'll... Right like that. And then the power cable is going to go up, over, like that. So that should empty out. Yeah, there we're getting some good power. Well, not good, but not bad for, you know, day one. So all these things are pretty easy to make day one. Now, we need to do the nuclear one. Which I can tell you right now, I'm not going to be able to turn on. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I should be able to turn it on. But there's a problem with the pack in that the uranium it uses for fuel can't be smelted or anything. Alright, so here the water pump. You can see it's getting some RF. It should be, yep, it's getting water. Good. And put down this one. This is the water to heavy water. It's getting power. But it's not doing anything because it doesn't have any water, so we will hook it up to the water, but that's not going to fill it. This is the heavy water, HW. This is the water. Still zero. That's what we need the servo for. I made, went ahead and made the hardened servo because I had the invar. Oh yeah, and then set it to always on. There it goes. Now it's starting to fill up with water. Getting a little bit of power too, and, and it's starting to make heavy water very slowly. Now, the other servo will go there, because that is going to be pumping the heavy water out and into the reactor. So it's getting heavy water. There it is, 300, 360. But it also needs water. It's got a heavy water, water, and then the uranium, which you put here in ingot form. So it's getting the water through the same duct. Now this water thing is running very, very slow. But the moment this thing turns on, we'll have a lot more power going through this cable. Enough to power the pump at full speed and, and this at full speed. And they should both have enough power to keep this thing happy with some despair. So that is it. That is fully set up. I've got multiple different power sources. The tiny little bit these give, a little bit more that this gives, a good bit more that this gives, and then this will give a lot, but we'll have to wait till tomorrow once we fix the recipe for the uranium. Which, where do I leave it? Here? No. Here. Nope. Here. Here. I definitely got to get organized. Here's the uranium. If you look at the recipe, uh, the uses for it, we can turn it into eulorium, but eulorium does not work in that reactor. 
term into Elorium Dust, Elorium, Elorium. Basically, Elorium has taken it over so that there's no way to craft it into the actual uranium blocks. These guys right here. If we ask for a recipe for those, there's nothing. So it's been overridden. But I'll, we'll be fixing that tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, then we will have... Very annoying, these fires. And then we will have more power. So I think I'm going to wrap that up. This will be the first episode. First day. Well, it's night now. But I think it's come along pretty good. i got a nice little room here to do lots of testing in. Good layout. I've got the rudimentary power going in a number of different ways. Got to sort my materials. I just dumped these are the chests that I brought with me from the the first base where I was just doing my mining. Haven't set up any mining here yet. I'll probably go to the dim let's go to the dimensional age real quick. Why not? I might have a few moments left. <laughs> let's see dimensional. I need the mining multi-tool, which is flint and steel, cracked stone bricks, stone pickaxe and stick. All right, we can do this. I should have some stone here. They don't have to be cracked stone bricks. Just, oh, that's right. The stone. That's another recipe that needs to be fixed. Um, I can do it with the chisel. Or the chisel? I have the chisel. Let's uh, dump some of these things away here. Do it in here. Alright, with the chisel I can take the stone and it sh crack stone bricks. I don't have to they don't have to be cracked, but I got that. Flint and steel. Flint and steel. I got the where's the flint? There's flint. Come on, you flint. Alright, so I got that, that. I need this stone pickaxe. I've got some sticks here, I think. I do. Sticks and stones to break cobble. Oh, and one more stick. Alright, put this together. If you've never seen the Dimensional Age, it is quite handy for mining, because it is safe. And in this in this pack, uh, safety is hard to come by. I need a bit more whoops. A bit more smooth stone here. Toss it into my cooking chest. I can't leave it in here because there is a recipe that turns the uh if you bake the smooth stone again, you get, where is it, circuit plates from Project Red. I already made a stack and a half of them accidentally in here. I tossed them out the front door, but somebody walked along and picked them up accidentally <laughs> before they despawned. Sorry. Inventory bomb. All right. Turn these into... Oh, that's right. Can't do it that way. Got to use chisel to do it. I'll just do regular stone bricks now. Now you take this mining tool and these. I don't need this. I only need 14, really. There we go. Okay. Where should I do it? Down here at the end. Yeah, do it down here at the end. Is it four? Oh, it is four. It's not going to fit nicely. All right, I'll just do it over here on the side. Ah. Gimme. Okay. And activate. All right. Let's go on through. 
crouch and we're there and we've got a castle right next to us interesting and get some string sweet <laughs> I needed some string oh that's a camouflage wooden wall plate and an arrow trap with an iron sword in it. I'll take that. <laughs> oh, and you're stuck in that, aren't you? You're free now. This castle's all over the place. This is sort of nice. Go up here. Any more? Ooh, we have loot. What do we get? Armored iron wand, damage resistance. Armored Iron Wand. Hmm. Now, I like this thing, too. Can I take it? Yes, good. Nice. Whoop, I stepped on something. I didn't do anything, though. <laughs> take that. Take the arrow, too. I don't think I've been the arrows. And I can use some books. I'll take these two. I'm looting this old abandoned castle. Watch your step. Oh, another pressure plate? No. Where is it? I hear it. Ah, there. Well, they are invisible. Any more invisible ones? Whale it to the rescue. Sweep. Sweep. No, there's there's one on the wall. <laughs> nice arrow trap. But it's got a sword in it. I like these wall pressure pressure plates. Why have I never seen that before? Oh, because it's coming from this mod. Cool. Ooh, another chest. Hey, we got some color modules. Ender pearl, nether quartz. Awesome. And a recall stone. Oh, we just... Nice. I'll take the redstone lamp, too. This is turning out to be a good trip. And there's nothing up here. Oh, that was an invisible... something. Another chest. Ooh, sighted helm of armor. Damage resistance when equipped, zero seconds. Night vision when equipped, zero seconds. Water breathing after t after taking drowning damage, two seconds. I'm putting that on. Ooh. That's weird. Well, it is night vision and it's daytime. Oh, I'm running out of this room. It's okay. Don't need those. I guess I can't turn, your turn the night vision off. But nice. Well, I'll have to explore some of these other uh, castles and see if there's as much good stuff in all of them, too. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do the mining here. It's a little bit safer. And we got cows. All the leather you can eat. All right, well, we're going to wrap up the first episode here. And, yeah, this is going to be a fun server. Deviating Lily, Project Red. Hmm. What's deviating about it? Well, <laughs> you break it, it's gone. So <laughs> This is Nonsanity, signing out. Take care. Be good. See you next time.